video, I showed you how we could create an oval and a rectangle on the screen. I'm going to show you how easy it is to um, animate them. Um, so we're back in our board class and just making sure we are um, at a good speed here. Um, 10 is good for the delay there. And so I'm going to create a couple of variables. I have this in X variable. I'm going to create a um, in um, oval x make that equal to 250 since I think that was my starting point in oval y make that equal to 250 as well okay and the x will be for our uh, rectangle and so I'm going to come down here and in our paint method um, this is where I was displaying our rectangle. I'm going to actually cut that out of there. I'm no longer going to use it as a button, um, sort of how we were. I'm going to paste it up here. And I'm going to get rid of our active game um, message that we were just displaying to the screen. And I'm going to change this 5 to X. Um, I'm going to make this just 50. And yeah, that's fine. X can start at zero. And so uh, let me show you. And then for the oval, I'm going to change this to oval X and oval Y. All right. And so let me show you how we can move the circle, I guess, first. I'll demonstrate that. So. Um, we have that variable over, over, oval x, so I'm going to say oval x um, equals oval x. could also have done plus equals, um, plus 5, let's say. And that's basically 5 is the speed at which the oval will move across the screen. And so we activate that and start. Click on the screen. See so our oval kind of just shoots off the side here. Um, this isn't displaying because uh, we need that to be black. Um, so our oval, if you, you might not have even caught that, just kind of shot off the side of the screen after I clicked the screen. Um, so we'd want it to come back. And so what we can do is I'm going to change this. I'm going to add a speed variable. So we'll say int speed equals five. And what I'm going to do here is say that speed equals speed times negative 1. So that will reverse it when we get to um, the other side. And we're going to use, instead of 5 here, we're going to use speed. Okay. semicolon. So let's go ahead and start that again. And it says clickboard to start. We click it. The oval goes off, comes back, and oh, it's gone. So we need to do the same thing for the other side of the screen. So we'll say if oval x less than zero, then we can just copy this line because the negative times the negative equals positive, so that will have it going in the right direction for us again. Click screen, goes off to the side, comes back. It should just keep on bouncing back and forth. So if that's a little animation there. You could see how you could um, uh, change that and make it so that it bounces on the y-axis as well, like a pong ball. Um, I'm going to show you next, though, how to control our rectangle, right? That's kind of just sitting there at the bottom of the screen. We have this x-axis, and I'm actually just going to control this with our um, arrows. And so if you look at our key pressed, um, key 39 is the right arrow. So I'm going to say x um, equals x plus 5 when we click the 
right arrow. And when we click the left arrow, which I believe is 37, uh, we're going to minus 5. Spin. And I'm clicking the right arrow, and it's moving the rectangle across, clicking the left angle, and it's going back. Now we don't safeguard it, so it can't go off the screen. Be careful of that. And um, so this is actually not the ideal way to do this, just the adding of the five um, when you're pressing these keys, because that gets a little choppy. And so actually the best way to, to do that is to, um, is to use a Boolean. And when you press key, say, for instance, for going to the right, when you press key 39, uh, move right equals true. And then you have the key release. And when key release 39 is released, you um, make move right equal to false. And then somewhere else in your code, you have when move right is equal to true, you do this line right here. So then when move right is equal to true, you have x equals x plus 5 somewhere in your code. Um, hopefully that makes sense. And uh, that's how you can do simple animation on your, um, in your project. Let me know if you have any questions. And on the next one, I'm going to show you, uh, take this even a little step further.